Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirit who wandered through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we raise our right hand and glorify the name of Jesus, saying, Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. There is a beautiful story which I have read years back when I was a seminarian and this story was always in my heart. So I thought of sharing with you today this beautiful story. The story about a shepherd and a sheep. Now this shepherd has lots of sheep. But one of the sheep, one of the sheep that was, that had a little bit of problem with its leg and it is deformed. Therefore, it cannot walk properly, it cannot run properly. And now, we are going to think about the mind of this little lamb. Sometimes this lamb is so sad because all my friends and all the other sheep, they are all running very fast and they are sometimes jumping and dancing and they are celebrating their life. But for me, I am deformed. I have this weakness. Therefore, I am not much loved by anyone. I am a rejected sheep. So whenever it thinks about this limitation, deformity, it was always very sad. 
But sometimes it was so happy because after all the pastoring, when all the sheep coming back home, as the shepherd leading them back towards the house, sometimes because of its deformity and this sheep cannot run fast or walk fast, therefore there are days the shepherd will carry this little lamb on his shoulder. And then this lamb was so happy. No one else got this privilege to be on the shoulder of the shepherd because of my de deformity, because of my limitation and weakness. Now I can be at the shoulder of my shepherd. So sometimes it is so happy, sometimes this sheep is so sad. And then time went on. Life was going as it was. And one day, every year, the shepherd decides to offer one lamb as a sacrifice in the church. So this year also, the shepherd has to choose a lamb to be offered in the church. So now, one fine evening, this little lamb is overhearing what the shepherd was telling. The shepherd said, This year I will offer this lamb which has got deformity, weakness, because this lamb is a burden. Therefore, I want to get rid of this sheep. Having heard this, it became all the more sad. Because until today, this sheep believed, even if my friends reject me, even if they mock at my limitations, even if they all sometimes humiliate me because of my weakness, my shepherd was always there for me. And when my shepherd carries me on his shoulder, I thought there is real love and care from my shepherd. But it was a shocking news for this sheep. Even I am a burden to my shepherd. I am a burden to my master. And the master doesn't want me. The master wants to get rid of me. It was so sad. Then on the other side, this sheep was so happy because I am going to be offered to God. No one else had that opportunity. So this year, I am chosen for the Lord. Therefore, I am going to be offered. My life is going to be slaughtered before my God. Therefore, I am happy. In a way, uh, I am going to get meaning for my life from my Lord. So life went on. And now the shepherd, when the day came, the shepherd took this sheep and was walking towards the church. And as he reached the church, the rule is this, as we read from the book of Deuteronomy, the rule is this, God is perfect. Therefore, anything that you offer to God should be perfect. So therefore, a priest has to examine every offering, whether it is a dove, whether it is a pigeon, whether it is a lamb, the priest had to examine only then after the consent of the priest that the, the, the whatever things that is to be offered will be allowed to offer. So now this shepherd brought this sheep and now the priest examined and the priest found out this deformity. The priest found out the limitation so therefore the priest said, this sheep cannot be offered on the altar for the Lord. That was a great shocking news inside the heart of our little lamb. And the little lamb, he started to cry. Initially, my friends rejected me. Then my shepherd rejected me. Even now, when I come to church, the priest is rejecting me. And even the Lord doesn't want my life because I am imperfect. 
and now this sheep cannot stay there leaving everyone the friends the shepherd the priest everyone this sheep started to run run away from everything and as this sheep was running and running and running this sheep could see a man coming against the sheep that was a man with a long beard having beautiful smile merciful eyes wearing a long robe and having a long hair and now as soon as the sheep reached this particular person who is walking against the sheep now this particular man took the sheep and embraced him and said even if no one wants you in the world i want you praise the lord hallelujah that is all about the story and we know it was jesus christ who embraced this particular sheep my dear brothers and sisters today we are going to reflect upon one of the areas where we struggle a lot which is called rejection this is one of the terrible feeling that a person can go in his or her life rejection being rejected by rejected by parents rejected by children rejected by husband rejected by wife rejected by friends no matter sometimes it is because of your weakness sometimes it is because of your uh, addictions of life sometimes there can be some deformity in you that is why people might have rejected you how do we deal with rejection how are we going to experience the fullness of joy and happiness <coughs> sorry happiness when rejection is ruling upon our life think about our lord jesus christ in the gospel today we found in the gospel of saint john chapter 10 when jesus christ came preaching the word of god all the jewish people came around and the word of god says they rejected him how did they reject they were having stones in their hands to kill him and jesus is confronting them and asking on which good deed that i have done that you are going to stone me they said you are uh, you are speaking blasphemy you are speaking you are telling that you are god since you are a man and the bible says they wanted to arrest him see the rejection that our lord jesus went through can you imagine if you take the life history of jesus christ it is a history of rejection think about while our lord jesus christ was in the womb of blessed mother she knocked at different doors none of the doors were opened everywhere it was rejection there is no room even now that word is echoing in the ears of our lord jesus christ there is no room for you here there is no room for you that's the worst uh, rejection worst feeling of rejection when you are invited somewhere and they say sorry i have no room for you you feel like you are rejected it is something like we don't find our space in our lives therefore no one was there to offer a room and they had to go to the cave or to the manger and then uh, once the child is born jesus is born into this world again the whole world says i don't want you through the voice of king herod where everyone wants to kill him we don't want this king of the whole universe to be born and when jesus is growing in his adulthood and when jesus started his public ministry the bible says one of the most terrible sentences in the bible sometimes he came to his own but they rejected him jesus went around preaching the word of god he always loved to come back to nazareth where he was born where he did lots of uh, graces and miracles preaching 
And he thought, my own people would accept me. But they, they did not accept. They rejected him. And then when time went on, you will find that when the time of crucifixion comes, he feels he is so lonely. He, where he goes to the garden of Gethsemane, where he is also going through lots of struggle inside, as if no one is around. Even the three beloved disciples whom he took, they are all falling asleep. And he is asking them, can't you just stay with me at least for an hour? But they couldn't. And uh, it doesn't end there. Now let us go to the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. While Jesus is there on the cross, suffering, going through that excruciating pain, Jesus made a loud cry and said, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? That is one of the greatest to Christ the world ever has seen. So there isn't anyone in the world who has gone through the feeling of rejection as our Lord had gone through. Therefore, our Lord can give you a solution for the feelings of rejection. Our Lord Jesus Christ can give you. Think about your own life. Sometimes being a, a father or a mother, sometimes your children may reject you to the extent they may throw you into a nursing home telling that I, I don't have time to look after you. Or being a husband or a wife, looking at your own weakness, looking at your own limitations, the deformities, the husband may say, I don't want you anymore. I don't have any feeling for you anymore. These are the saddest words in a family life, in a married life. When a husband convey this message to the wife, or a wife conveys the same message to the husband, I don't have any feeling for you anymore. And you feel you are totally rejected. So too with your friends. So too with your own uh, very uh, trusted friends. But one, one day or the other you come to know that they, they reject you. They don't want your company anymore. Because of your limitation, because of your weakness, they don't want to invite you for the parties. They wanted to exclude you from everything. That is the worst moments of rejections in our lives. How did Jesus deal with the rejection? It's very interesting to know. All the historical events which I have told you about the rejection that Jesus went through, there you will find a particular sentence there which I am going to tell you how to deal with the feeling of rejection in our lives. Our Lord Jesus Christ, when he came to know that there is no room for him, what did he do? He and Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph, the Bible says, they opened their ears and hearts to listen to the angel. Their hearts and their minds were open to the above heaven. When King Herod was about to plan and he was planning to kill Jesus, where did they go? At that moment of rejection, they were opening their eyes and their ears towards heaven, listening the message that comes down from heaven through the angel. And now time goes on. When the people rejected our Lord Jesus Christ in Nazareth, what did he do? The Bible says every day evening he went alone to a mountain where he developed, he increased a relationship with his heavenly father. This is the key point. The Abba conscience, the father conscience, that is very important in your life and in my life. My dear brothers and sisters, the Heavenly Father has did not give you a written solution for your loneliness. Our Heavenly Father has did not give you a course line for your rejection. Our Lord did not give you a book to read in order that rejections be gone. But rather, our, our Heavenly Father has given a person, a relationship, in order that you may overcome rejection. Think about why rejection? 
Rejection is because there is a relationship that is broken. Your husband rejects you because that relationship is broken. Your wife rejects you because that relationship is broken. So broken relationships are the source, the root cause of rejection in our lives. So therefore, how do we overcome rejection? Develop the proper relationship. That is why Heavenly Father has given us a proper relationship and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus knew it very well. So in the moments of uh, deepest pain, rejection, even in the gospel today, after Jesus heard that people are ready to stone him, they are accusing him of uh, blasphemy and they wanted to arrest him and they are all against him and they are all rejecting him. What did our Lord do? In the gospel of St. John chapter 10 verse 40 we read, Our Lord Jesus Christ went to Jordan. To Jordan where John baptized our Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we read? He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing earlier and he remained there. And he remained there. This is the key point. After having gone through all these rejections, having done all the good things, he had gone through all these rejections. They are accusing him, humiliating him. He, they wanted to stone him to death. Now what is he doing? The Bible says, after having done, experienced all these rejection, he went to Jordan. And Jordan, what is the place of Jordan? Jordan is the place where our Lord Jesus Christ started his ministry where the heaven opened and the heavenly father has said one beautiful sentence in front of everyone. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So he's going back to the heavenly father. Now let us come to the Garden of Gethsemane. He's going through such an excruciating pain inside. Tomorrow I have to carry the cross. Tomorrow is the day of my crucifixion. How am I going to do this? Now what is he doing there? He went a distance away from the disciples. He knelt and then he looked up to heaven and he prayed. What did he pray? Abba, Father. Please remove this cup away from me, but not my will, but your will. But where does that prayer go? To the Heavenly Father. The last moment on the cross, when uh, everyone has rejected him, when he is there as if, as if the whole world is abandoned him, and it is true, when Jesus is there on the cross, you and I can very well understand the heaven and the earth has completely rejected him. The beautiful trees that is planted by our Lord Jesus Christ, the same trees rejected him by giving the wood for a cross. And our Lord Jesus Christ was dealing with all the irons in his carpentry where he used to create tables or chairs, but the same nails give way for a complete rejection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the form of nails that was nailed on the cross, on his hands and his legs. And the beautiful roses that our Lord planted on, on this earth, these roses have shed all its thorns in order that a crown of thorns be, be made and be kept upon his beautiful, powerful and uh, glorious head. So everything is rejecting. Everyone is rejecting. And what about the earth is looking at and say, we can't even have the feet of the Lord on this ground. So they lifted him up above. What about the heavens? When Jesus dying on the cross, the Bible says, the sun refused to shed its light. It is complete rejection. The heaven is rejected. Heaven is rejecting our Lord Jesus. The earth is rejecting our Lord Jesus Christ. It is at that time our Lord Jesus Christ feels even the heaven, even the heavenly father is abandoning me. Look at the lamb. My master, my shepherd, my friends, and now the priests have rejected me. 
now everyone has rejected me therefore you hear a loud cry from the cross my god my god why have you abandoned me even in the midst of that cry you will hear the next sentence what is that sentence father into your hands i commend my spirit even in the worst experience of rejection our lord jesus christ is reminded of a relationship that is of heavenly father i have a father so therefore he calls father even if i don't see your presence right now in the midst of my rejection even if i do not see your uh, voice even if i can't hear your voice even i don't feel anything right now i believe in my heart you are very close to me you are there with me and then you are there to 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 console me and that faith itself is developing a relationship where our lord jesus said father into your hands i commend my spirit but dear brothers and sisters when we you and i when we go through these kinds of rejection in our lives either by your family members or from your society or from your workplace whenever you go through this rejection the solution is this the, the, the heavenly father has given you a relationship that is our lord jesus christ develop that relationship when you are very lonely when when, when you are very rejected that is not a time to go and lock yourself in the rooms that is not a time to go and start drinking taking drugs and stop smoking when you are rejected that is not every moment of rejection is a moment of anointing in your life every moment of rejection is a moment of anointing provided you have this conscience what is that conscience i have a father who will never reject me and the heavenly father conveyed this message all throughout the people of israel when they felt rejected when they felt there is no one to lead us it's at that time our lord clearly revealed it through prophet jeremiah we shall read jeremiah 31 verse 9 book of jeremiah chapter 31 verse 9 with weeping they shall come and with consolation consolations i will lead them back i will let them walk by brooks of water in a straight path in which they shall not stumble for i have become a father to israel and ephraim is my firstborn praise the lord through jeremiah the lord reveals that with weeping they shall come you may come crying out but with consolation i will lead them back and the lord says i will lead them in a straight path even if there is a great water flowing i will never allow your foot to be stumbled i will lead you in a straight path and the lord says because i am a father to israel i am a father so we have a father saint paul when he experienced his conversion he said now this is something i have to be reminded in my life when i got conversion when i received the holy spirit in my life uh, he he conveyed this beautiful message i have not received a spirit of slavery that is leading me into fear but i have received a spirit of courage that is the holy spirit and with whom i am crying and i am calling out every day abba father we shall read from the letter of saint paul to the romans chapter 8 verse 15 for letter you, of saint paul to the romans 8:15 for you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you have received a spirit of adoption when we cry abba father praise the lord shall we raise our right hand and repeat this word of god together for, for you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you have received a spirit of adoption when we cry abba father praise the lord so we have not received a spirit who leads you into fear 
into rejection but we have received the spirit the holy spirit who always helps helps you to remember a relationship therefore we are called to a relationship if you are going through a feeling of rejection in your life the lord says this is a solution you develop a relationship because some other relationships are broken that's why you are having this rejection there's only one way to solve it have the proper relationship and i tell you if you got this proper relationship with jesus christ none of you can put you down to the spirit of rejection in life none of them even your husband or your wife even your children or your parents none of them can leave you into the feeling of rejection if you have if you are having this proper relationship with jesus christ praise the lord so hallelujah 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 so we have a wonderful god who said i will not leave you orphaned i will not leave you orphaned to whom did he say this to the beloved disciples the disciples who left their parents their own people and now they followed jesus christ and now they they worked with jesus christ for three years now jesus told them i'm going to leave from this world and they became very sad and the lord came and said i will not leave you orphaned i am with you and i am coming to you and i will be with you that's the promise of our lord jesus christ therefore when uh, we are rejected because of our limitations because of our weakness because of our problems sometimes we also become like that little lamb and we cry out and we run away how far can you run away you have to run away to the extent where you can find this relationship where the merciful lord our lord jesus christ is waiting for you so the one who had experienced the 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 worst form of rejection is there waiting for you to develop that beautiful relationship that is the solution for rejection in our lives therefore today during this holy mass and the adoration we shall pray that our that our lord jesus christ may fill our hearts with lots of strength and joy because we are never rejected because we have the greatest gift given by our heavenly father and that is and that is jesus christ praise the lord hallelujah what is the greatest gift given by heavenly father jesus christ nothing else so therefore we shall not pray for small small blessings pray for the gift given by the heavenly father that is jesus christ and when you embrace jesus christ the spirit of rejection will depart from you so let that happen today during this holy mass and the adoration god bless you all